All right, everybody, Stan Smith from Iron Sharp K9, and we are here with Jamie from K9 Concepts Texas. And we're doing some nose work, and today we're going to be teaching Boot how to indicate. And what is an indication for all the laymen's out there? Indication is just communication to us that they found the hive. Cool. So when the dogs are going and then they go and drop into a down, what are you doing, dude? What are we doing? You're just ready to work. He's so ready to work. He's so ready to work. He saw your indication and yeah, knew relax. what he needed to do. So today we're going to work on these pipes here. And the pipe in the middle is where the hide is. And we're going to work on a down for our indication here. Cool. So what all do we need? Food. All we need is food, um, a leash, which you got, and then the odor and the dog. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him his alert, or not his alert command, his search command, and then we're going to walk him by, and then the blue tape is obviously the hot box. Yep. So, and then when the dog is in there, I'm going to click, and then he's going to down, and she's going to be paying him, paying him, paying him, and then we're going to switch it up again. So. Where? Where? I know he's actually a reading. I can't put my nose in Good. there. Good. Down. Yes. Good. Good. Yes. Good. Good. Yeah, you know what we're doing now? So he did a really good job on those indications. Um, we're gonna leave it at that for today. We're gonna set up other searches for him um, and not necessarily expect the indication, but I just don't wanna continue to drill it when we've already gotten it. And continually drilling it will take the fun out of the odor game, so. There we go. So what we're doing next is going to hide another find or are yep. you gonna work with felon? We're gonna do felon first on the pipes and then I'm gonna set up a couple of searches out here so we can just bounce from search to search. All right, All right so now we got Mr. Felon out here and this is the first time he's ever seen these particular indication boxes. And But he knows the odor, so we're going to just take him through it and you guys are going to see the difference between a slow, more, a slower, more meticulous dog than a donkey in boots. So. <laughs> require much of an indication just because he's 18 weeks and I don't really care. She's lying. This dog is six, eight, eight months already. <laughs> he, he is telling me that there's odor there so I, I am confident that he's able to communicate it. Good job. And this is literally the yin and yang to boot and felon. <laughs> That was where the old odor was. Come on, Yes. <laughs> nice job. All right, so what did you notice different from the first one than the second one? He did not make eye contact. Good job. So on that one, he was just cheating to yep. see. Yep, he was just trying to see if he could get paid by pawing it, but he didn't make eye contact like he has on this one. And then she also didn't correct him when he was doing that incorrectly. She just didn't acknowledge it. Pull him a little bit, say, hey, come on, let's get back to work. And when he did indicate properly, that's when he won. Yep. yep. We see a cat, so that's going to be challenging. Ready, baby, go. This is world training, people. <laughs> he looked at Jamil. Are, are you gonna pay me? Who's paying me? All right, so we'll mix it up one more time for him. Nice. Yes. Nice 
And when you're doing this, you want the dog to start learning how to search independently. So you see she's staying off of him. She's not walking up and stopping at the box. She's letting the dog figure it out because if you don't know where these odors are, you have to learn to read your dog. And your dog will start actually indicating if you stop, they're like, oh, this is where we're supposed to be. And they give that alert. And then what happens if you give a false alert? You're just like, you're disqualified, you lose your round. So, and also your, your, your dog is continually lying to you. So the more you get falses, the more you're going to see them in a trial, especially if you don't know where the height is, you're nervous and you have all those feelings. So when a dog does false, it's important for us just to be neutral and falses don't pay. So we continually to move off of them. So the dog moves off of them too. There we go. So I'll stay tuned. All right. So now we have these cones set up and what are these cones indicating? Okay. So these are going to be our search areas. And as we come up to each search area with the dog, I will explain to you what your parameters are and where your start line is. Okay. okay. So basically, this is kind of mocking a trial. This Correct. is how it would be set up. Yep. And are they always going to be red and blue? Nope. They're going to be different colors. I, that was just the top of the list. Um, there'll be cones that distinguish your perimeter and then cones that distinguish the start line. So in this case, the two red cones right here are your start line. That is where you and your dog have to enter. If you don't enter through those two start cones, you get disqualified. So Very it's important to know. It is. So if I go, yee, we go home. Yeah. Well, yeah. So you're, you're out. Don't do that. Keep my leash. Yeah. Need to do. Okay. So here is our search area. The blue cones distinguish the perimeter. So you can see them here. Blue cone. Not see where the cinder block is. That's another search area. So don't go over there. But that blue cone is your boundary. You'll see there's one over here one here okay so everything inside those cones is your search area red are your start line All right. so whenever you're ready there's one hide Boom. Relax. Inside is in your search area. Your blues are your start line. Right. There's hey. two hides. Find it. He's like, we're jumping on this stuff, right? saw him have that head pop, yep. but then he started acting like a little tongue. I'm like, eh. Yep. So, 
this is having the reps you have to go through, you have to see your dog. He did have a change of behavior, and I wanted to call it, but I was just unsure. So like, this is just where the practice comes in. Yep, and that's actually really common, because that's the first thing he hit on when he came into the search area, right? So he probably cataloged that, but wanted to continue the search. Um, and then he did come back to it. So that's something we see often, but we need to train more to, to get him to stick to that. All right, next one. There's, there's one. God, I almost forgot. Hey, down. You ready? <laughs> Find it. I wanted to pull him off so we can get back to a detailed search, but he was going, going, going. So I'm like, okay, let's see. Because the wind is actually blowing to our face. So he went around there and he caught that odor and he went right to it. Yep. So he has an idea. We just got to get better about the clear indication part. Mm -hmm. So this is fun. Yep. And I have one more for you. It's going to be a simple, but it's going to be challenging because it's a high hide. So it's just on the A-frame here. Cool. So just have him search and we'll see if he can find it. queuing off of you. hardest thing about nose work right because he was doing all that stuff and it took him a while to settle in and search and that is the most frustrating part he handled it well but a lot of people do get frustrated and you know you want to quit but if you wait the dog out he came back in and refocused yeah. nice job so boo did pretty well on his searching i got to learn to read him a little bit better and he has to learn to focus so we are both needing more work and that's the best part about this so the last thing we are going to do today is going to work on the indication so it makes it easier to read the dog Yeah. Out of, out of food. Oh, you're out of food? Yes. 
จากโอ้กยาดกยาดเไปที่แกวิสานเก่งนะ Good boy Good boy He's too little He's got a little nose I will do one more This time let's see if he offers it down So I was not prepared for the big jackpot reward. He's just gonna get a handful of gas. Yes, good boy. So when you're doing nose work, so when you're doing nose work, you want to make sure you take your time. You want to make sure you don't get frustrated. You want to make sure it's fun, because if this is not fun, we make this stressful for the dog. He's not gonna want to do it. And if he, he's like, I can just wait, and you're gonna lose, and then you're gonna be even more upset with your dog people. So. Anything that they need to know? Uh, the only thing I would say is know your dog also. He did quite a few searches back to back, but not every dog's gonna be capable of that. So if your dog is struggling on the first search, not doing that well, I would not make the dog continually search. So aim for one good search and be done. So it just depends on your dog. And if you have any questions, where can they find you? Canine Concepts Texas. And as on always, Facebook. Be, and Sorry. as always, stay tuned, stay safe, stay sharp, and just take care of your dog.